Today we are going to exchange the mainboard on the Ender 3 Pro with the Big 3 Tech mainboard. Coming up on Zachary 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to reviews and many other cool things you can do with 3D printing. If you are new to this channel and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. You can also visit some social media links. I will put them in the description of this video, like Facebook, Instagram, and also Twitter. You can also support this channel on Patreon I will put also that link in the description of this video. So like I mentioned in the intro, today we are going to exchange the mainboard on the Ender 3 Pro. You can also use this upgrade for your Ender 3. This is the uh, mainboard from Big 3 Tech. It's the SKR Mini A3. A3 stands for Ender 3. Why should we do this kind of upgrade? Well, this is a 32-bit processor in the, on the board, but you can also upgrade with a BL Touch. It's also more quiet than the uh, normal main board. And there are some other things that are great on this board. It's not that expensive. I bought it, yes, before Christmas and I received it last week in the mail. Little, little uh, delay because of the, 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 the holidays, but also uh, Chinese New Year. And well, let's get the chat chat and let's install this port. Before doing that, make sure that your power is off and also that there is no power inside of the cables. Let's flip the 3D printer over and make sure that everything is disconnected. So like you can see, the printer is on its side. It's recommended not to print like this. You can maybe do that. Try it out. Be my guest. So let's screw these screws out. Like mentioned, make sure that you don't have any power connected to it. So also the third, second screw and then the third screw. Also on the other side, I will turn it over. Here on, here on this side, you also have screws that need to be unscrewed. And let's see how far we come now. So. So if you are going to unscrew this part, you have the two screws on this side. Here you have one and here you have one. That are the only screws that you have to unscrew. So like you can see, this is the stock main board from the Ender 3 Pro in this case. I also had to take off this connector. There was, uh, there was some hot glue on it and when i'm checking everything i see everywhere some hot glue i don't know why but maybe that's uh, done because of some uh, safety precaution and that our all the wires are uh, secured like that um, when you're going to exchange it please take a picture of it that when you take off all the cables that you know exactly know where all the cables should go to so Without further ado, let's get all the connectors loose and then exchange the board.
So, and here are the two boards next to each other. The stock one and the big three tech board. As you can see, they are almost identical. Uh, the connectors, the SD card, the USB, and also the power connectors and the end stop connectors. Um, one thing, when you are going to get the parts, you will get also some heat sinks. Before you are going to install the board into the under tree, make sure that you are attaching these to the board. You also have this little rubber ducky and some USB cable and also a SD card with some firmware and other software on it. So let's install the board. Now we are going to put this into the end tree. So we are going to connect all the connectors on this side and then we are do the, doing the stepper drivers. Um, you also have some connectors here, but we only need the one for the other fan. This cable is going inside of there. So let's connect all the wires. So first we are going to connect the power cables. Very tight room. You can also connect the cables during. Then use a tool like this. So that was the first one. Also the second one. So now we are going to use the wire diagram to make sure that all the other cables are good connected. So like you can see the power cables go through this one, then the cables from the fan from the hot end are here, then you get the power cables from your heat pad then you get the cables from your hot end and then you get your second fan cable and then the X stop the Y stop and the Z stop then you got one smaller white cable and one longer white cable both cables are from the thermistor so these are connected now we are going to do the most simple part connecting all the driver cables from the stepper motors to the correct connector so first we are going to install the extruder motor so we look for that one this is from the Z, this is from the X, this is from the Y, and then <laughs> the last one, of course, from the one that we need. We are going to plug it in. And that was the first one. 
Now the second one is from the Z stepper driver. We are going to look for that one as well. Oh, well, first one is a good guess. Then we are going to install the Y motor cable. Well, I've got the X here and then this should be the Y. And like you can see also here some hot glue. Make sure that everything is off. Afterwards you can always choose to, to use hot glue again. I don't know why I should do it, but if you would like to, to use the Creality method, feel free. I still don't know why they did it. I tried to think of it, but I couldn't find any solution. But the most logical thing, I think it's for the protection. Then uh, we are going to attach the Y cable motor. And then of course the X stepper motor and that is that one. Something like that. Everything is connected. The cables are there. I can I'm going to install a BT touch in the near future, but first I'm going to close this one up and then we are going to connect it. Like you can see, I've got here also a fan. I did put it out here, so I'm going to reattach it there. So last screw is in, this is done. Let's clean this up. I'm not going to throw this older board away because it's still good and I can reuse it for a other 3D printer. So another update is going to come soon on this channel. If you are not subscribed yet to my channel, please consider subscribing. But first we need to clean this up and then we are going to wrap up this video. If you look here, you have on the screen a, a rolling text, which was not on the older board, but you also have here the uh, hot end temperature, temperature rising, uh, also from the heat bed, uh, almost looks the same as the older version, but like you can hear, it's much silent. And it's, it's running very nice. I need to rechange the filament, so let's do that. It sounds great, huh? I am happy with the result of this 3D printer. It's a great upgrade, like you can see. It took me something like 30 minutes to do, but I'm always very precise in doing some things. And it's not that difficult, but if you are not familiar with it, then maybe you like one of these kind of videos to watch. Like you can see, I'm printing one of the gears of my uh, InMove robot as a test print. I didn't change anything on the G-code. It's just one of the files that I used on the stock bed uh, when I was in, in there. And now, like you can see, it's just printing without any, without any difficulties. 
and that's great so if you want to make also this kind of upgrades on your Ender 3 or your Ender 3 Pro feel free I will put the link in the description of Amazon it's an affiliate link it will help my channel a lot so please click the link but I will also put some other links where you can also buy it which are not affiliate links but it will help you with your 3d printer upgrade that being said thanks for watching please like this video subscribe to Zachary 3d print and like always happy 3d printing Zachary 3d prints bye bye Little ducky.